Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're talking again about iOS 16. In this video, I will share with you guys 20 tips and tricks that I believe every iPhone user running iOS 16 on their device should know. Starting things off with messages. On iOS 16, Apple has updated the iMessage app with a lot of new features. You probably know about the undo and you probably know about the ability to edit messages, but you can also mark a message as unread. Now I can do that quickly from the list right here. So when you go to your messages, all you have to do to mark a conversation as unread is just swipe from the left to the right like this, and there you're good to go. You can see right here, it will indicate that that's unread, of course, with that blue dot. Now I can also do that again, and it will reverse what you have done. Something really interesting on iOS 16 on the Messages app is that now you can actually recover deleted messages. You can do that for 30 days just like you have the recently deleted album on the Photos app. So right here, go back to the filters and you will find a section for recently deleted messages. Right here, you have all the messages you have deleted in the past 30 days. So after 30 days, these will be gone. But on 30 days, you can just go ahead, tap right there and recover these. Or if you have messages that you want to completely delete from your device, make sure you clean them from here as well, because they will be saved here for 30 days. Now this right here is one of my favorite features of iOS 16 and it will be very, very useful. This feature will allow you to schedule emails. So you don't have to send the email right away. You can send it whenever you need to. Now all you have to do is just go ahead and compose the email just like you would normally compose an email. But then instead of just tapping the send button, you can tap and hold here and you will get this pop-up. So you will have a few options. If you just want to schedule it at an exact date and time, you just tap on send later, and then you will have here the time and the date. So you can pick any date and any time, tap the done button, and now you have scheduled that email and you can send it anytime you want. On iOS 16, you also can convert units from pretty much anywhere on iOS. Whether that's a text or maybe a photo where a live text is enabled, you can just tap on it. You can see we have 55 centimeters right there on this note. I can tap on that and you can see it will convert it into meters, centimeters, millimeters, yards, feet, and inches as well. That's really cool. We have 21 degrees right here. I can tap on it and you can see right now it will actually allow me to convert it so you can convert Celsius, Fahrenheit and angle as well. So you just tap right there and as easy as that, you can convert it from here without even having to use any other app. This feature right here is pretty useful. Whenever you're on the website and you want to search for a certain word and you have that word somewhere here on the text, all you have to do is just select it. Like in this case, I can select that and tap on find selection. And you can see it will find all the matching words. Of course, I can go ahead and move through them from here. Now, here is a really cool feature on the Photos app. Whenever you have a photo that you want to use as a wallpaper, but the size is not right, you can actually resize it to the exact wallpaper size of your device. You tap on the edit button and then you go ahead and tap right here and then tap that button and choose wallpaper and it will crop it to the exact wallpaper size. You probably have seen this iOS 16 feature where you can tap and hold the subject on a photo and then you can move it around or just use it anywhere else. You can actually also save it as a separate photo without the background. So once you have held it, of course, and it's separated, you tap the share button that will appear right there and you tap on save image. And now this is saved as a, as a separate image on the photo library. Another thing that you can do with these subjects from photos is that you can actually send them as stickers or as like PNG photos. So all you have to do is tap and hold. And once it's selected, you can see it will detach from the photo. I can get out of the app here and I can move to iMessage in this case, and I can just drop it there and I can send this from here, which is actually really, really cool. So whatever you have, whatever subject you select there, you can just send it as a picture from here. 
Now here is another one on the Photos app. You can finally copy edits from photos and paste them to other photos. Like if you have a photo that you have edited before, you tap the three dots on that photo right there and you can copy the edits. Now all you have to do is go to the other photo, do the same, tap the three dots and tap on paste edits and there you have it. All the edits from the previous photo will be will be actually moved to the other photo so you don't have to bother trying to edit two photos with the same settings. Here's another very useful feature. Whenever you're on the spotlight search of iOS on iOS 16, you can search things like maybe some settings or anything else like, like a shortcut maybe but it will also save them. So you can see right here, I just searched for Bluetooth sharing right here. I opened it, but now it's saved as a shortcut right on the spotlight search. So I don't have to search it anymore. I can just tap there and it will open it on the settings app. Of course, there will be a bunch of these once you start searching stuff. So if you just want to remove any of them, just slide like this and tap on hide. Now this will be a very useful feature. Take a screenshot, you want to send it to someone, all you have to do is tap the dumb button and tap here, copy and delete. That way you won't have a ton of screenshots on your device. You copy it, it will be automatically deleted, so you can just paste it and send it to anyone you want, maybe on a DM or something like that, but you don't have to save it on your device and take up a lot of space. With screenshots on iOS 16, you can also add them to a quick note. So if you just take a screenshot, you can tap the share button. And from here, you can add them to a new quick note. This is another great feature of iOS 16. When you want to share a contact with someone, you don't have to share everything. So you go to a contact, you want to share it. What you can do is tap on filter fields right here and it allows us to select what you want to share from that contact. Maybe you just want to share a phone number or an email. You don't want to share their pictures, things like that. You can just simply select whatever you want to share and just share the things that you want. It is finally very easy to delete contacts on iOS 16. Like deleting contacts on iOS is quite a bit of a process. You will have to go to the contacts card, tap on the edit button, and then scroll all the way down to find the delete contact button. Now all you have to do is just 3D touch on a contact and you can delete it from here. As you probably know, on iOS 16, now you can create lists of contacts. So you have different groups, of course, for different things. But did you know that you can send messages or emails to all of them at the same time? So you want to send messages or email the group of like contacts that you have. You just 3D touch on that list and you will have two options, message all, email all. And just like that, you will be able to send an email or a message to all of them at the same time. On Safari on iOS 16, if you have some tabs that are really important to you and you use often and you want to have them always ready, you can now just go to the tabs here and just make sure you're 3D touching one of them, tap on pin tab and you will have your favorite tabs pinned at the top of the Safari tab page. You can finally do something really cool with Siri. You can actually reboot your iPhone. Now, I don't want to do that right now because I'm recording the video, but all you have to do is just open Siri and tell her to restart your iPhone. Did you know that the dictation on iOS 16 now also supports emojis? So if you dictate and you just add an emoji, it won't actually type the words, but it will type the emoji. So let's just try it out. This is a test dictation, crying face emoji. There you go. You can see how easy that was. It will actually add the emoji instead of just typing the words that you say. On the new lock screen on iOS 16, of course, you will have a ton of different lock screens because all the cool new features and you're trying to create your setups, you will have a lot of them. So if you just want to remove or delete any of them, the easiest way is just to swipe up and tap the delete button right here. It says delete the wallpaper, but it will delete the complete lock screen. Here is another thing that you need to know regarding the lock screen on iOS 16. You don't have to create a new lock screen every time you want to change the wallpaper. If you have a lock, a lock screen, you have like this one right here. I have all the widgets that I need and everything set up. Maybe I just want to change the wallpaper, the picture there. Just tap on customize and then tap this button right here. This will take your photo library from where you can select the wallpaper without having to create a new lock screen. 
So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are 20 iOS 16 tips and tricks that I believe iPhone users must know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Leave a like on this one. and I'll see you on the next video.